Good day to all of you. So once again, we are at the beginning of a new week. And you all know that at the beginning of a new week, we learn something new. And on the next day, we revise the same. Revising these new tools that we learn is very important because without practice, you will forget all that you learned about the new tool. So let us begin by first revising all that we learned during the last class. Can you tell why we use the color box 1? We use color box 1 to change the outline of a drawing. Can you tell why we use thickness of a line? We can increase or decrease the thickness of a line by using this option. Do you all know why we use color palette? As we know, all colors are stored in color palette and according to need, we can choose the desired color and then use it. Do you know how we change the color of the line? Color of the line can be changed by first selecting the color that you want to apply on the line. But before applying it, it must be selected from the color box 1 and then choose the color and then draw with it. Now, all of you should turn on your computer and open an MS Paint file. Do you remember how to open an MS Paint file? If you face any problem or difficulty in opening an MS Paint file, then you should watch the video carefully and learn how to open an MS Paint file. We will now learn how to open an MS Paint file. In order to open the MS Paint file, you will take your pointer to the start button, which is in the left bottom corner of your screen. You click on the start button as is being shown in the video and a window appears, you have to select the all programs. Once you open the all programs, uh, many program names will appear. You have to select the option called accessories and left click on that option. Click on the option called paint and your paint file opens. Now it is ready for you to use the paint file. In today's class, we are going to learn to make the following. In the first drawing, you will all make a triangle and then in the next one, you will make many triangles inside the first triangle we made. And then in the end, all of you will make one picture which will have a river the sky and a mountain and then all the students will fill colors in their drawings. See the picture that is being shown in front of you. What is it called? Yes, it's a picture of a triangle. By looking at the picture in front of you, do you feel you can make the same or not? To make this picture, first we will select line tool. Next, we will select a color from the color palette and complete our picture. Let's carefully see the video that will show us how to draw this picture. We first need to select the line tool and the color one from the color palette. Then we go into the drawing sheet and draw this diagonal line as is being shown in the video. We also remember to remove the dots at the end of the lines by clicking on the side of the drawing. We draw another slanted line as is being shown in the video. And then at the bottom two ends, we will join these. Remove the dots and our triangle is ready. You have already learned 
how to use the select all tool to erase this drawing and you can use that to erase the drawing. Do you know how to delete or erase this picture? Delete or remove this picture as you have learned previously. In the next picture, we have many triangles and all the students need to carefully look at the picture and then make the drawings. So look at the picture in front of you and say if all of you can make this drawing or not. To make this drawing, the first thing we will do is select line tool and select color and then all of you will make all these pictures one by one. Let's see the video that will tell you the procedure to make this picture. We need to first select the line tool and then select the color one from the color palette. Come to the drawing sheet and draw this line by dragging as, has, as you have already learned. Next from this point we draw a slanted line towards the right and join the two endpoints of the two lines that we have just drawn. So our first triangle is ready. Now we remove the dots from the ends. Go to the color palette and change the color one. We have now selected a blue color. Draw a slanted line as is being shown here. And from this end point, drag the line upwards like this till here. Join these two end points like this. And your second triangle is ready. Again, we will first remove the dots by clicking on the side. Then go to the color palette. Select a different color. In color 1, we have selected light blue color. And come to the drawing sheet. Draw a small slanted line as is being shown here. And then from this point to the end point of the second line. This makes your third triangle. Again, remove the dots by clicking. And then now we are selecting a different color one as color pur purple. Come to the drawing sheet. Make a line slanted line here. We have selected a different color. Make the second line and join the two endpoints like this. In a similar manner, we will change the color from the color palette. We will select a light green color. We are drawing a vertical line as shown in the video. Then a line being dragged upwards and then we join the two end points and our fifth triangle is ready. Again we remove the dots. Now we have selected black as color one from the color palette and we are drawing a slanted line here. A second line and then join the two endpoints of the first two lines to make another triangle. Removing the dots of the lines that we made by clicking on the side, selecting color one as dark green this time and drawing these lines here, making another triangle here. First these two lines and then we will join the two line endpoints of the two lines like is being shown in the video to you, like this. Remember after each triangle to remove the dots that have appeared on the end points of the lines. Again we select brown from the color palette 1, draw a line here, 
join the second line and then join the end points of these two lines to complete the triangle. If you want to erase this drawing of triangles, you can do so by the method you have already learned. In this drawing, you can see that there are many pictures of a mountain, the sun, a flag, a river and a boat. So we will also make all these pictures in one drawing itself. In order to draw this beautiful picture, we first select the line tool, then select the color from color 1 palette, go to the drawing area and draw a slanted line as is being shown in the video. And then just like we were making triangles, we make these triangular hills. We have made the second line. Now from the end of the second line, we drag upwards the third line to make the second mountain. It's a mountain range that we are making. So we drag it up from this point like this and continue doing so till we have made many mountains. Remember to remove the dots at the end of the lines which appear by clicking on the side after you have made the line like this and continue to make the mountains. We have chosen the green color for this. So by making all these lines in the same color like this, this, this one more line, one more mountain. Now we go and pick a different color and we are making a line at the bottom of the mountains. So you can see in the video a line from the first mountain to the last mountain has been made in dark brown color. Next we have other small pictures to make. So we choose from the tools, we have chosen the eraser tool and we have erased a little a part of the brown line as is being shown in the video. Similarly, we go here and use the eraser tool. Next, we go back and select the line tool again and we select blue color so that we can make a river in blue. So, by making all these lines in the same color like this. We just extend it a little more so we can show some curves in the river. We go back and correct this a little bit here so that it joins nicely. Then we click on the side to remove the dots and from here we start making the other side of the river taking it through the erased portion of the brown line. Remove the dots, make another line which is slightly curved out like this. So it's a nice river that we have made like this. We remove the dots on the ends of the lines. We go and select the eraser tool once again so that we can erase the brown portion of the brown line which had come inside the river. So remember to do this to make your drawing look good. Next we go back and select the line tool again because we now have to make other pictures. We select 
a brownish color again as color one we are drawing a small boat here like this we have made one slanted line then we make a horizontal line and from the end point of this horizontal line we drag upwards like this remove the dots on the ends of the lines join the two top lines and the structure of the boat is ready next we are making a small mast on the boat so we make a line going upwards and we make this mast with a slanted line and we need to join these two so we have a beautiful boat now we make on the other side also a small line here watch the video carefully to learn and we are making another slanted line so that we can make the other side of the mast also remove the dots on the sides of the lines now we have gone back and selected the red color just to give it a beautiful view of the boat we are making these lines on the sides of the boat red lines like this one more small line and we will be done and the last one it looks so beautiful again we are clicking on the side to remove the dots we have now selected a different color and we come here at this point make this line here extend this line join it with a second line join it with a third line and another one we make a line on top of this as is being shown we are making a small tree here so we have made the two sides of the tree and now on top we select the light green color to show the top of the tree so to make the top of the tree we have made the slanted line another slanted line on the other side take it upwards like this continue we are making small small line segments to give it the shape of a tree top also remember that each time we make a small line we need to remove the dots which appear white dots which appear at the ends of the lines by clicking on the side of the drawing we go here and make another small line here and lastly we need to join these two to make the complete tree so so far we have completed the mountain the river the boat and the tree we have chosen dark green color as color 1 and we are draw drawing lines with the dark green color inside the tree top just like this to make our tree look more beautiful
watch the video carefully and you will learn how this is done very easily these are small small lines that we are drawing we have now selected the red color from color palette one we draw a line on this side just near the river and below the mountains draw a line downwards small line vertical line take it horizontally back parallel to the first red line that we drew we join the two end points like this remove the dots each time that you make a new line by clicking on the side of the drawing we are now selecting the green color can you guess what we are making we are making a flag the top is red and then we have made on the bottom side we are making a green box also to make our flag so we made these two lines now we have to join the third line here and then we will join the end points of the second and the third line to complete the green box as is being shown in the video to you so we have completed the red box and the green box now we have selected a grayish color to make the pole of the flag and we have made this line which shows the pole of the flag like this we are selecting next the dark blue color to make the base of the flag so you can see we are now making the base of the flag watch the video carefully and you can easily learn to make this drawing as well as other similar drawings which you like we are just removing the dots on the sides of the lines now we make a third line like this so that it becomes the topmost of the base of the flag you must have seen steps at the base of a flag so it is something similar that we are drawing we have just drawn the first step now we are drawing the second step below this and then we will be joining them from here like this below the first step we are making the second step slightly bigger than the first step remove the dots draw the third line like this so your drawing appears very beautiful now we have selected the dark brown color to make the last step of the flag in a different color like this and we draw the third side of the step going downwards as is being shown in the video remember to remove the dots at the ends of the line 
we selected the blue color once again because our line was not complete in the first step. So you can make these corrections in your drawings also if required. So our drawing is ready. Remember if we want to erase the whole drawing, we can erase it by using select all. Okay, so we will end today's class now. All of you will close your files and shut down your system. All students need to shut down their systems in the correct method that we have all learned by now. If any of you ever shut down your system by directly pressing the power button, your system can get corrupted and stop working. So all of you need to remember the correct method of shutting down the system. So in today's class, all of you have learned to make many pictures in one drawing itself by using line tool. We made a triangle and then we made a boat, a river, a flag and a tree in the same drawing. Thank you.